I don't know how we, we uh, reconcile a lot of these issues. You either believe in climate alarmism or energy independence. How do you reconcile that? How do you reconcile defund, dismantle versus funding law enforcement and no bail laws versus bail laws? Right. How do you reconcile secure borders or sanctuary states or cities? Uh, very controversial issues, yes. and I don't know where the middle ground is. Do you see it? There, there is uh, less and less middle ground. Over the, over the decades, the, the parties have grown very far apart. There's a wide chasm now. You know, if you rewound back 40 or 50 years, there wasn't really a lot of difference between the Republican and Democrat parties. If you compared their platforms, there were nuances about policy, but they believed in the same things. They were trying to do what's right for the country. Um, you know, the allegation here about some of our colleagues is that's not really their agenda. And some of them really would like to uh, trade what we have for a European-style socialist form of government. We know that that is a, a terrible uh, idea, so we stand for our foundational principles. What, what you have to do is get down to those core principles and, and argue, debate with your colleagues, and use the facts. You know, show them the reality. Socialism is a dead end. Communism and Marxism are terrible things. It's been responsible for the deaths of tens of millions of innocent people over the 20th century alone, right? That is not the path we want to go down. America is different and we are exceptional because we stand on certain foundational principles. I, I said in my speech the other night that was that last night? All my hours are running together now. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Afternoon. Yesterday, um, I, I talked about the core principles of American conservatism, and that's individual freedom, limited government, the rule of law, peace through strength, fiscal responsibility, free markets, and human dignity. And under, under each of those, there would be subcategories. But that's what we stand for. I call them the core principles of American conservatism, but it's really the core principles of America itself. We're different. We're exceptional. The reason we're the freest, most powerful, most successful nation in the history of the world is because that's what we stand for. And those values and those principles are under assault right now, and we have to defend them here every day with everything we have.